Hi y'all, welcome. My name is Sam um, and I'm a marketing junior from Los Angeles, California. Um, today we're just going to be kind of talking about business. Um, I've got one of my favorite professors here and a fr good friend of mine. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Hey everyone, I'm Amy Watkins. I'm a senior marketing major from Washington, D.C. And hey, I'm Michelle Johnston. I'm a management professor. I was born in Alexandria, Virginia, but have made New Orleans my home for 20 years. So today, like I said, we're just going to be talking about um, our business program here and about some of our majors. Um, we'll do our best if you all have questions to answer them live, so feel free to leave some in the comments. Um, otherwise, we'll just get started. So Amy, what has been your favorite thing about business so far? My favorite thing about being in the College of Business is that there's so much that you learn in the classroom that you can take out into the world like immediately. I think a lot of the skills that I've learned I've tried to like implement, whether it's in leadership positions on campus or in internships, and it's really just like getting that skill set immediately, which is very rare. So. Yeah. Dr. J, what's your favorite thing about being a business professor? You guys, I love my students. <laughs> Um, the small class sizes, uh, when I was a graduate student, I taught at Auburn and LSU, and although I loved both of those experiences, I had huge classes, and here at Loyola, I have these tiny classes where um, we get to sit around a conference table and actually have meaningful conversations, and I get to facilitate versus lecture. I love the student body here. And we love you. <laughs> Um, so Loyal is a Jesuit Catholic institution, and that's obviously something that's very close to all of our hearts. Um, the Jesuit values are really important to us. Amy, how do you feel like we fulfill those Jesuit values in the business programs here? Without a doubt, it's all about like the magis. Like I really do think that Loyola and all the Jesuit schools do an incredible job of like not only educating me in business, but like life skills as well. I feel like Dr. Johnson's such a mentor to me, and I can come to her with anything, regardless of its whether it's homework related or like future life advice. Like the professors really here, like do their best to help you in all aspects. See, so you were talking about our small class sizes. What do you feel like is your average class size usually? Oh, so my huge classes will have 30 students. <laughs> oh my God. And my fantastic um, management electives, my leadership course. Right now I have 15 students, and that's the one where we sit around a conference table. But I want to go back to Sam's question, which she talked about Jesuit values and how Amy answered that too. I have so many students come up to me, prospective students like you all say, oh gosh, you know, do we have to be Catholic? in order to have a good experience at Loyola. And I think one of the Jesuit values is openness. And we were talking about that in leadership the other day, that this is a really cool, individualistic, diverse um, student culture that some universities where I've taught, um, everybody ends up looking the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this place does not, and, and that's what I value so much about that Jesuit, just openness to all, whether it's all religions, all yeah. cultures, I love that. Loyola doesn't mold. Like Loyola you come doesn't you mold. Absolutely. No. And I feel like a lot of people assume that, you know, because we're business students and we're in marketing programs or we're in accounting programs, you know, we can't really go after those Jesuit values and we can't um, kind of live by them, and that's absolutely not the case. <clears throat> you know, being um, a well-rounded person is something that's really important to the Jesuits, and we really, really find that um, to be true in the business school, too. Um, so, you know, just because we're not a religious studies program or an English program does not mean that we don't, you know, like I said, go after those Jesuit values every single day. Um, so, Loyal is kind of known for a lot of its creative programs. Amy, do you feel like you're still getting the Loyal experience even though we're not in a technically creative program? Absolutely. Um, I feel like Loyola, even working in admissions, just Loyola is such a unique school because I think our student body really reflects the New Orleans population and that people come from all walks of life and all different like creative environments. And I think even within the business school, I've, um, I've taken some classes in like mass communication because a lot of those classes kind of intersect um, as we go into the job world. And then also some of my friends, for example, who are music industry majors, like I've helped them with like marketing advice or like different strategies that we're doing that'll help them. So you get every, you're educating your peers, but also educating yourself while you're here. The music definitely is a theme around here. I feel like no matter if it's a finance class, whatever class it is, there's somebody carrying in a musical instrument. You go out to the quad <laughs> after class and sure. there's somebody playing bongos or a guitar. There's a band in the quad playing. It's a very musical campus. I love it. Absolutely. Um, so how do you
do you think we kind of we gain our real world experience while still being in school? How does Loyola help us do that? Do I have to go? Okay. Um, I think that because we're kind of lucky that we're in a major city, um, we have so many opportunities all around us, even on campus and off campus. Um, and I think what the best thing that even the College of Business has done for me is they've kind of like, they always present opportunities to you. Um, for example, I got an email like three weeks ago about a really cool internship that the portfolio office knew that like that's what I want to do in the future and like that's the skill set that I have. Um, and actually through them I have the internship now, um, which is really awesome. They helped me like jump on it and like went over my resume and everything and all the College of Business centers and centers, teachers. Um, and all the faculty at Loyola, like they will present opportunities to you, um, and it's your it's your like option to take advantage of them. So that is so true. I just had an MBA student up in my office, and he's in the middle of transitioning from one job to another. And and I'm so fortunate. Besides teaching wonderful students like this, I also get to coach executives, and so I'll tap into any of the companies that um, where I coach some of the executives, and I'll push the resumes through and do whatever I can to help out with internships or jobs. I mean, we all do what, it takes a village, we all do whatever we can to help. Yeah, and um, I, I'm actually going on a site visit down to the J.P. Morgan um, office here in New Orleans on Friday, yeah, which I'm really excited about. Um, the portfolio office set that up for me and some other business students as well. Um, so it's just things like that. You know, we really, we have so much here in New Orleans that we can take advantage of. Um, and the business school especially really helps us kind of grab those opportunities when they show up. We have really cool guest speakers too. I was oh, thinking yeah. we have, mm -hmm. you know, the guy, the director of sales for the Saints and the Pelicans basketball team. It's rare for a city our size to have a professional basketball team and professional um, football team. We just won. You got to be a Saints fan. No, you don't. But, but it helps. <laughs> but it helps. But it helps. Um, who else have we had? Auctioners, a huge hospital here. We've got Entergy, Big Petroleum and Gas. I mean, there are lots, besides all of the nonprofits and creative mm -hmm. industries and the service industries and the hotels. We, and then we're the entrepreneurship hub. We've got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot going on. Busy here. city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, Amy, what's your favorite thing to do off campus? My favorite thing to do off campus? I think any and all, I was telling someone today, any and all festivals New Orleans offers, like there's literally yeah. one every single weekend. So it's really not like there's nothing ever going on. That's what I think I love about it most, whether it's like the food festivals or even just like the music festivals. My favorite is Jazz Fest, just cause like people of all ages go to it and it's such a New Orleans like culture mm -hmm. hub, so. We just had voodoo. Mm -hmm. I did not go this year. Did any of you all go? Sure. I did nope. not go. Usually yeah. I go. I miss the killers. I'm very upset about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's, they're absolutely right. There's always a festival, yeah. for sure. Oh, shoot. Po' Boy Fest is coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. It got rescheduled, which I'm pretty pumped about. That, yeah, it? it got canceled like a couple weekends ago. But now I can go. So yes. that's definitely my favorite. So if you're here this weekend, <laughs> President's Open House. Yes, yes, we'll yes. that up on the list. Yes, Fall yes, Open yes, House, Amy. Fall Open House. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, Amy, so you talked a little bit about an internship that you just got. Um, what types of internships have you done? What types of internships have your classmates done that you know about? Mm -hmm. I have had the opportunity of having an internship on campus, actually, um, through the Office of Admissions. I served as a visit intern where I helped manage um, some student ambassadors, like Sam. Um, and But also off campus, I this past summer, I interned for a company called Tales of the Cocktail, which is like the world's premier cocktail festival um, that takes place in New Orleans every summer. And what's really cool is three of the um, staff, or three of the employees are actually from Loyola. So it was really cool to just kind of talk about like my experience with them, um, and especially just like being within that organization this whole summer and seeing how it is an international one. So people mm -hmm. came from all, all around the world for this festival, so. That reminds me, one of the programs that we have, um, which is a key differentiator, is called the Portfolio Program. And as a freshman, you'll be paired up with an executive mentor. And I used to run the program years ago and recruited the mm -hmm. head of the Tales of yeah. Cocktail. Exactly. It was actually so my we, executive uh, mentor my freshman year. Yeah. Well, small world. Small world. <laughs> I was just at a conference last week downtown called TED Women. Which, you went to that? Oh, my God. It was amazing. <laughs> So and one of the coolest <laughs> women who I met just randomly standing next to won the Bartender so of the Year yeah. Award oh, and so comes cool. down for Tales wow. of the oh Cocktail. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. Misty yeah. Kokelfin. That's her name, I think. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, can, I, had, I was in charge I of the whole award ceremony, so I had to know how the winner was. That's yeah. creepy. Ted that's Woodman incredible. I'm jealous. Mm, so like wow. we said, there's always stuff to do around here. Um, yes. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> no, yes. And the Saints game was last weekend. The Seafood oh, yeah. Festival was mm-hmm. last weekend. Voodoo, Po Boy, Open Mac House, and cheese fest. Mac and Cheese. Oh, yeah, man. And then you can take the streetcar for a dollar fifty. It might be cheaper for you guys. Or is it dollar dollar twenty five exact change? And you can get literally to downtown, to the French Quarter, to the Superdome. You can get everywhere. Yeah. Um. So speaking of things to do over the weekend, we are having our second follow up in house this weekend. It is Saturday, November eleventh. Is that the right date? Yes, (laughs) ma'am. Just wanted to make sure. Um, Saturday, November eleventh. If you haven't registered yet, you can do that on our website. Um. Just go to loino.edu and go to our admissions page. Um, You'll find the registration there. We would absolutely love to see you there on Saturday. Um, If you don't have the chance to register, that's totally okay. Just come on over. Um, We'd love to have you. So thank you all so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Um, I know I had fun. I always have fun I talking have, to these two. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun. These are both my former students, and we sat around a, co- a conference table for 15 weeks together, and we had true. just a really great time in leadership. So thank you so much for tuning in. We do hope to get to meet you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.